was goody. Lionheart is back in effect. Today I'm reviewing Justice League War, godlike animated movie. It's a retelling of the original comic book, which was six volumes that was written by Goff Johns, Jim Lee, and Scott Williams in 2011 and 2012. It was a very good animation and comic book. Um, Justice League War, brilliant. Brilliant adaptation of a very good comic. The one thing I'll say, first of all, I will say two things. Light noise cannon. Fucking hell. That is a weapon. Secondly, there's no Aquaman. And that's not a spoiler. If you read the comic, you know what I'm talking about. And if you see any of the trailers, you'll notice maybe you don't see Aquaman. He's not in it. I do remember that there was a scene with Wonder Woman where she was at the White House and the president was keeping her waiting. She went for walkies. Aquaman came out of the ocean to say that there's been mysterious attacks. I can't remember something like that. This is a long time ago that I read the comic. This is total recall I'm doing right now. Um, probably should have done research before I did this review, but... I'm an old school person, as in if it's in your memory, you just do it. I just don't really do research. I just watch, read and then tell. She met Aquaman there. It did happen in this. But they make up for it with a godlike scene where Wonder Woman, Diana, we're on a first name basis, I call her Diana. The rest of the world calls her Wonder Woman. She fights like about 70 parademons. And it is a godlike fight. Just Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman goes ham yet again, as she did in Flashpoint. And this one is no exception. She goes ham. She is godlike. But every single character in this is godlike. First of all, all the characters Batman, Green Lantern, Flash, Superman, Wonder Woman, Cyborg, Shazam, and the main villain, Darkseid, the new 52. Flash was Barry Allen. Green Lantern was Hal Jordan. Diana's Wonder Woman. Cyborg is Victor Stone. Retell Victor Stone's story of how he became Cyborg, how his body got destroyed. On Tuesday, the 21st of January, that was the premiere. You can get it on iTunes for $19.99 and I, think, I believe that would be about maybe £16.99 I would recommend you pick it up, it is unbelievable one thing that I did love about it, in some terms it's actually better than the comic let's call a spade a spade and the comic was really good, it was 6 volumes Justice League Origin, wonderful comic the animation, what made it good was the characterizations. there was a lot of humour in this, like there was a lot of jokes where um, there was an ongoing joke with Batman being shrouded in mystery and he's a Batman, is he a vampire, they make jokes and references to World of Warcraft and True Blood, Batman being a vampire, it's a really beautiful animation, the story was good, everything was wonderful about it, I loved it, the action, the music, the score was wicked, it suited every single scene and sometimes you think, so how does Batman keep up with all these superheroes, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman and Green Lantern have a fight and the fight is sick. The fight is sick. You know, Batman, Superman, and Green Lantern. They have like a little bit of a scuff. It is wicked. The whole film was beautifully sort of, it had good pacing. It had a beginning, a middle, and an end. And there's a special treat that happens at that very ending. So you want to stick around for after credits. It was wicked. Very good animated movie. Well worth its weight in gold. So on the whole, amazing animation. That gets an easy 9.5 out of 10. And it's a must watch. And you can get it right now on iTunes. Or you can wait for it on February the 4th and just get it on Blu-ray DVD. But whatever you do, make sure you get your hands on it and watch it. You don't need me to show you or tell you. Flash, that's my character. So to see Barry Allen cashing checks and taking names, loved it. It was brilliant. It was brilliant. And Darkseid was actually a very, very, very good villain. It worked. Everything worked really well. The MVPs, Superman was really cool, but Diana, she was too militant and too cool. Wonder Woman, amazing. Fighting, it was Wonder Woman. In terms of character, it was Hal Jordan. The way all the characters interact. Batman. Brilliant. Superman, I won't lie, I really liked him in this film. 
brilliant. But the MVP was Wonder Woman. As far as I'm concerned, the MVP was Wonder Woman. The only character I would say really there wasn't much character development too much. She makes up for it because we know who Wonder Woman is and she's beautiful, she's strong, she doesn't need to depend on sexiness and vulgarity to exploit the fact that she's a proper beautiful strong woman every single character was highlighted there's even a scene where batman takes off sorry it's very good batman and green lantern first of all they didn't like each other they were fighting in the beginning they had to agree to disagree the safety of the world was at stake that kind of humor that green lantern brought every character had humor that was the main difference that i could see between the comic and animated movie was the humor made to actually such a fantastic animation other than the fights because the fights and the scenes are brilliant the interaction between the characters is stellar it's just Wonderful. I, I couldn't I can't tell you how good this animation is other than you watching it yourself. You know, Flash He was godlike. That character was literally like a literally like a one man army. He was doing his own thing. Even though he was with Justice League, he was mostly doing his own thing and his own story. He was mostly with Cyborg, but it was still fantastic. Like I could say Shazam and Cyborg had a very good relationship and then there was the Flash so it was kind of like their three man cell and then you had Batman, Green Lantern and then Cyborg that came in later on that was another three man cell but mostly it was in like two man teams like Wonder Woman, Superman which is brilliant Green Lantern, Batman, Shazam, Cyborg like it was something like Dark Side just like a villain from World of Warcraft and that was hilarious, that had me in bits and then they had like, cause there was a mystique about Batman, like who is Batman, he's in the shadows, he wears a bat suit, nobody knows who you are, you can disappear whenever you want, you can reappear, you're fighting all these monsters, you must have superhuman powers, right? He must be like a vampire or something. And that's when they make references, Green Lantern makes references to true blood, like, have, have you had your true blood tonight? And Batman's like, I ain't a vampire. And Green Lantern's like, what, you're not a human in a suit, what are you, you, could, you got super strength? You can fly? Batman's like, nope. And that is wicked. The fact that Batman is just an ordinary human, but he can keep up. Like, he does, like, Tai Chi. Like, it's, it's like he's doing Tai Chi. Like, the way he fights all these super-powered mutants is like he's using Tai Chi. To... Yeah, I love it. Very good animation, and it's something you should go watch. As I said, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Characterization was it. There was a lot of character development. They developed the characters. There wasn't so much character development with... Flash and Wonder Woman, but they made every single character count. Every single character was important in terms of what their role was in the movie, in terms of their ability to fight, in terms of um, abilities of what they brought to the table and why they were so important in the Justice League. Everyone was important, not with within a team, but individually because they had their own little individual segments with the Parademons before they became, they joined together and met each other. Because they were fighting each other. The only two that weren't really fighting each other when they first met each other was Shazam and Cyborg and Wonder Woman, Diana and Superman, Clark. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant animated movie. I can't rave about it enough. It's something that I recommend you go watch. You can get it right now on iTunes or wait till the 4th of February 2014 and go buy it on Blu-ray and DVD. Unbelievable animation. Well worth the wait. Well worth the wait. Thank <laughs> you.